Don't do this at home. Skip to my loo, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today we're gonna try a product that if it truly does what it claims to do, it would be a great thing. Of course, there are millions of products out there that don't do what they claim. And as with this mascara, that claims to curl your lashes without the need for an eyelash curler. I bought it in two ways. I bought the idea that it's going to curl my eyelashes and I purchased it. Yeah. There is even an eyelash curler on the package that has a big fat circle and red slash through it. I wasn't really sure how I was going to go about reviewing this item meaning I didn't know if I should on my right eye use this stuff. Oh, maybe I should tell you what it is. It's Rimmel Super Curler 24, volume and lash curling power in one. That's exciting. Anyway, I didn't know if I should just put this on my right eye and regular mascara on my left, or this on my right eye, curl my eyelashes on the left and put regular mascara and see if it's the same. Since it says it's two in one, I'm gonna use one and two. So let's get started, shall we? So before I actually put this on, let's think about this for a second. How could a mascara, either the ingredients or the wand itself, truly curl your eyelashes? I'm very skeptical of this stuff. Ooh, it has a curved brush, I like that. I have to say that my eyelashes are separated and a good amount is on there. Oh, also I have to mention that I have very straight eyelashes and eyebrows. So this is a good test for a product like this. Okay, let's curl. And my eyelashes are blonde, so I have to use a mirror to curl them so I can see that they're actually in there. All right, and then for my voluminous. Oh my goodness. Looking at them, they are the same amount of curl. All right, we're gonna do a second coat. They're the same amount of curl, but I don't know how it would do that. I just don't. That second coat went on a little bit clumpier this time. And now for the other eye. Okay, Voluminous did what it always does, which is give me some good lashes. The Rimmel side looks to be very close to the curled side. On both sides, my lashes are touching almost my eyelid. And that's not saying really anything because my eyelids are a little bit droopy and they're not even. One's droopier than the other, this one I think. So let's get a close up. Okay, so the light's not gonna work unless I move them. So let's do it with my phone. So you guys can see not only how creepy my eyes are, but my mascara. Let's take a look. Yeah, they look the same, you guys, the same. Let's do one more. It's raining outside here in good old Colorado. One more time. I'm kind of amazed a little bit. It did work. I don't know how. They seem to be a little bit turned up. Anyway, I'm not gonna go through the whole day and let you know how the product that I'm testing stands up because this really was the ultimate test to see if it indeed gave my eyelashes a curl without using an eyelash curler. To look again. I'll tell you what, I don't often give great reviews to mascara because I love Voluminous so much. It's been my mascara for about 20 years now. Yes, I've been putting it on since I was 10. Anyway, I have to say I really will use this again. There's scissors in here. Don't do this at home. I have a rogue eyebrow. So, does this curling mascara take the place of actually curling your eyelashes and using regular mascara? I think it does. I don't curl my eyelashes. I can't be bothered. It's too hard. But you guys can see for yourself from that picture, they look the same. Both sets of lashes are turned up, even if just the littlest bit. I'm gonna give uh, this Rimmel Curling Mascara a thumbs up. I am. I like it. I will put the link down below where you can get it yourself, but I got mine at Walgreens. But I'm sure you can find it just about anywhere. Well, maybe not anywhere. They probably don't have it at Toys R Us. They probably don't have it at 
Old Navy. They probably don't have it at 7-Eleven. Anyway, that is it for this review on the Rimmel Super Curler 24 Mascara. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I sure did. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye guys.